I've got a little bit of time and so I'm going to do a bit of modeling. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, I just had another baby. So just like when my daughter Lily was born, <laughs> if you could hear that, um, I started modeling uh, baby stuff, like baby bottles and some toys. And now that baby Harry is here, I'm going to model this thing which we have in our house. Or like a, a bead maze or whatever. And Harry's in the other room. And my wife's there. And he's crying, so you might hear a little bit of this and that. Um, two babies. Two different baby monitors. All right, so we're going to take care of Harry, and then we're going to get back at this. All right, so here we go. In Blender, I put all my screencast keys, I've switched to Cycles Render, and just deleted everything in the main scene. And one thing I want to do is I want to pull on these diagonal lines, I'm going to pull that up, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to switch this to a UV image editor. And I'm going to hit Open Image, and I'm going to find that picture. Uh, there it is. And I'm just going to have this open over here. Uh, more so I can color pick, although I don't think I'm going to do the materials in this video. I don't have that much time, but uh, there's a way that you can get a reference image in anyhow. Okay, front ortho view, and here's what I'm going to do. Shift A, mesh, circle. I'm going to switch this over to 24 vertices, rotate X 90. And I pull that up. I pull it up to there. Edit mode. And I'm going to delete all these bottom vertices, just like that. And then I'm going to take this Shift D, uh, rotate Y 180, bring this down, and I'm going to pull this over so that this vertex is a little bit past this one because I'm going to do some vertex uh, snapping. I just want to get the approximate height that I want to make, so I want to make this up and down thing. All right, so somewhere around there. Come down here, I'm gonna switch on snapping, vertex, and I'm gonna hit GX to grab or go in the X, and I'm gonna move my mouse to there. So I'm gonna go GX, move my mouse to here. When I see the circle, release, and now that's snapped, so at the same position. I'm gonna select this vertex and this one, and hit F to make face. And now I'm gonna select the whole thing. Shift D, and I'm gonna bring it out like that. I'm going to bring it a little bit past, I'm going to go GX, and I'm going to move over here, and that. Okay, now, I think before I snap that, I shouldn't have released that, I'm going to do another couple of these. Shift D, bring it out, GX, snap to there, so I got one, two, three, I need another one. Shift D, GX, and hover my mouse over there, and it snaps. So I want one, two, three, four of these things, right? One, two, three, four, and it comes down. Okay. Over here, I'm gonna get rid of everything except that vertex. And I'm going to select those two and hit F to make a face. These two, F to make a face. These two. And I'm gonna select that one, and I think I'm gonna get rid of this one actually, so I can come down the same amount. So select those two, E to extrude, and I'm just gonna pull them down. I'm gonna come a little bit, uh, that's not, I don't wanna do snapping. I'll bring them to there, let's turn off the snapping. And I'm thinking if I go to about there, that might be about the right height. I'm gonna select it all and bring it back up to just, just above, ah, put it right, there, right about there. Let's have a look at this. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna convert this to a curve. Alt C, curve from mesh. I'm gonna come over to the curve dialog box there. Uh, and let's move this down. Let's make sure we're on uh, full. And we'll scroll down to where it says bevel. And I'm gonna go with uh, 0 0.08. Let's try that. And resolution, I'm gonna go with three put on smoothing and uh, subdivision surface. Maybe just one is enough. All right, so I have that basic shape and I think that's probably what I need. Let's try selecting it, origin of geometry. I'll do cursor to select it as well. All right, all right, cool. Um, 
I'm going to bring the, well, let's do the little feet part on this. Let's come in, select that point, shift S, cursor to select it there to bring my 3D cursor down there. Shift A, I'm gonna bring in a circle. I'll just leave the default values. And then in edit mode, I'm gonna scale it in uh, like that. And I'm gonna go E and S, bring it in, E and Alt M, merge it center. And then I'm going to select this edge, E and extrude it down. Like that, select it all, Control N to flip polys. And uh, don't have a bottom one. Let's just go ahead and put a subdivision surface on this of two and smoothing. And then I'll bring in an edge loop up here and just one down there for the heck of it. And let's see if that's good enough. I like it kind of like that. Uh, I don't know if that's big enough. Scale shift Z. There we go. We'll try that. And then I'll take this and I'll shift S cursor to select it. Hopefully it's right in the middle and I'll select that and we will mirror it. Um, use the eyedropper with respect to that whole thing. It should go into the right place. Looks good so far. Um, yeah, I got my 3D cursor right there, which is okay. I'm gonna bring in a cube. It'll show up up there, but that's fine. And I'll bring it down, go into edit mode. I'm gonna scale in the X out past these guys and scale in the Z. Like about that. We'll zoom in. We'll press GZ. And we'll do that kind of thing. And I think I'm gonna need it a bit wider to put two of them here. So I'm gonna go uh, scale this in the Y. I'll do that for the moment. And we'll uh, just move these. So select that and that. Look from the top and uh, GY. I'll put one, say here, Shift D, GY. And I can uh, adjust both of these. Just a bit of distance between them, so that and that. We have that kind of thing so far. Okay, and on this, I think what I'll do is just. Um, We'll just select this top face and uh, control B bevel. We'll just do something like that. See if we like that at all. Or maybe if I do actually put a bevel on it and just increase the segments uh, a bunch, reduce it a little bit. Hope maybe it'll look nice enough. Uh, we can get rid of the bottom face on that. Why not? And this is what we have. So it's very easy to do. Um, let's get rid of the grid floor under display, uncheck grid floor. There we go. I can select this whole thing and look from the front. And if I want to just center it a bit better, that's, that's okay like that. Okay. And now what we'll do is we will, um, Double check these, I do like that, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna apply that mirror and that one. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna select the whole thing. Shift S, cursor selected. Did that work? Uh, let's do, what are you doing here? I got the two of them, all right, that's fine. That's why. Select a piece of this and, and there, Shift S, cursor selected. Bring my 3D cursor there and shift A, mesh circle. It's in the correct orientation. Let's just scale this to the size that we want for those beads. All right, and let's go E and S. Now let's just try E and Alt M. No, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. We are gonna make the hole here. All right, we'll do it this way, like that. Select it all, and we'll go E, and I'll, I'll bring it up just because I can see it a little bit better. So we'll have that, and then I think in the middle, I'll put three edge loops, and uh, let's just scale it out like that. I don't know why three. Let's try a subdivision surface, and then we'll touch it up from there. Yeah. All right, well, let's... Uh, Let's put one on the top here, coming in and inside, coming up. Same thing on the bottom. 
Uh, I'll go Shift H so I can see it better. The period key to zoom in on that. We'll put one on the bottom here, like that, and one coming down. It doesn't have to be too too tight. Just one is something like that. What am I doing? I'll take to bring everything back. How's that look? I'll scale it a bit. Is it going to hit the other side? Yeah, it'll hit the other side. Okay, uh, that being the case, let's have a look at this. I think I need to make these a little bit smaller then. Okay, let's go into edit mode. And let's uh, scale shift Z, I think. I'm going to try it that. Nah, you know what? I think I need to just scale it globally. And when I do that, of course, my hole is starting to get a bit small. So I could uh, select all the polys on the inside and control plus a couple of times till I get to there. And then I'll scale shift Z and I'll make the hole uh, bigger so that the little kids uh, can slide it around. Now, can I fit two of those? Let's see, three, control three. Let's try it. Copy one over there. Yeah, I can do it. Very nice. So let's bring this down. I'll get rid of this one for now. And let's make, you know, we can just make a bunch of these. How many do I want? I think one end, we had them stacked fully. So how many have we got here? And it goes all the way up to there. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, now I could just array these and then break them out, but I think I'm just going to um, just duplicate them. Two, three, four, five. Count with me, everybody. Six, seven. How are we doing? Yeah, it looks great. Eight, nine, and we'll go for ten, won't we? That kind of thing. Very nice. All right, and then I would go through and, and, and put some materials. I mean, if I wanted to do this basically, I could just for now, just to keep this going, uh, come over here and go new. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try something here. I, I'll probably use, well, let's just do it now. The principle of BSDF. I'll just do it here without going into the node editor. And for my base color, I want to color pick, say, this red. Let's switch over to material. Okay. And, you know, then I would have to do a few things like maybe I have 0.2 metallicity and 0.4 roughness, but we won't really see much here. We see a bit of a shine. Now, depending on where I color pick, though, you see it's kind of a dark red. You know, maybe I would get uh, that. All right, let's go with that for now. Okay, so I don't even think I'm going to name these. So let's say I've got a red one, and let's go for the yellow one. Let's go over there. All right, and I don't think, oh yeah, we wanted this to be principal, didn't we? All right, I won't set up all the other stuff for now, so we'll just do it this way. Principled, we're going to go for the blue one. And then here, orange. Uh, okay, fine. Green. Just repeat again. I guess it does. Well, we could just do that then. So for that one, I'm going to start with the red. Yellow. Blue. 
orange. Uh oh. Green. And because I have 10, I'll go back to the red. Okay. Um, this is definitely a, a metal piece in yellow, so um, I'll make a new one for that. And my base color would be a yellow. Let's see how nice that is. All right, and of course, you know, I would have uh, maybe, maybe it'd be 0 0.4 and roughness you know, 0 0.2, something like that. We'll see what would be a good thing to use. I don't really like that yellow. So let's try and see if I can get more of a yellow. That's okay for the moment. And this one's going to be red. I'm going to try color picking that one. I don't really like that red, so I can do that. I don't remember the values I just used. I think it was might have been 0 0.4 and 0 0.2. But we can go back uh, later. And for this, it's wood, and I'm, I might UV map it. Um, for now, though, let's just do this. Let's make it principled. Let's actually call this wood, though. In case it comes out looking, you know, similar to one of the other shades, and I don't know where to go with that. I think I'll do that for now. And this, I think, I would just, I would just make black. You know, but it is metal, so it's like 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 or 3. I'm not sure what the right values will be and whether or not they might be a bit thick, so I can adjust that uh, if I want to. Later on. Oh, okay, it's got it. Okay, so uh, I'll work on, I mean, I would probably uh, take some of these and position them uh, differently. I could take all of these for the moment, though. And I could uh, shift D and G. I, was, I don't know why they have to go to the other end, but it seems like the right thing to do. Okay, and then uh, position them <clears throat> and get set for some kind of a render or whatever. So, there you go. Quick little, uh, little toy. Thanks for watching.